Hi guys, this is part three of the video tutorial series on using Luminar 4. I've got to reshare it here. I did the videos for Skylum, but here's the thing. They sped my voice up on all the videos. So I kind of sound a bit like this, um, which is a little bit embarrassing. But anyway, I'm resharing them at the original speed. This one is about retouching portraits. Luminar has gone from version four to currently 4.2, maybe a new version coming out very soon, not sure, um, but I will do an update video. But if you just wanna have a look at the portrait editing tools for now, here's this video, I hope you enjoy it. Cheers guys. Here I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how quick it is to use the AI Skin Enhancer and Portrait Enhancer to really push your portraits to the next level. Let's dive straight into the Skin Enhancer which is found within the Portrait tab. One thing we can do is tick this box here which says AI Skin Defects Removal and then Luminar's AI is going to analyze the face and as you saw, remove some of those skin defects. What we can then do is increase the amount slider, which is gonna soften the skin whilst leaving the pores intact. You don't need to go to 100%, but I'm doing that just so that you can see the difference of before and after. But let's drop that back somewhere around 70. From here, let's jump into the portrait enhancer. I'll talk you through each of these sliders and what they do. First of all, we've got the face light, which is a really great tool to increase the light on your model's face. So if we look at our before and after, we can see that the brightest part of the image now is definitely her face, which oftentimes in a portrait is what you want. If you're shooting with a flash, sometimes you might get red eye. This slider here will get rid of that for you. If you want to brighten the whites of the eyes, we have a slider here which we can just bring up. We don't want to take that one too far on this particular image. The eye enhancer is certainly one of my favorite tools here. As we bring the slider up, you can see that it really enhances the iris. If you want to keep the effect natural, don't go too far with the slider, but if we go all the way, you can really see what it's doing to the eyes. Let's leave that somewhere around the 30 mark. If your model has dark circles under the eyes, this slider will get rid of them. In this instance, our model looks well rested, so we don't need to do anything there. If you want to, you can even change the shape of your model's face. We can slim the face down with this slider, or we can even enlarge the eyes with this one. You even have the ability to change the shape of your model's face. Here we have a slim face slider and an enlarge eyes slider. Be mindful with these sliders that you're actually altering the structure of somebody's face. Use them with care, use them with consideration. The eyebrow improve is a great way to thicken up eyebrows. So as I increase that slider, you'll see our model's eyebrows really darken and thicken up. Again, put the slider somewhere that you feel suits your image. Below those sliders, we have a section all dedicated to adjusting the mouth of your model. You can increase the saturation and redness of the lips. You could darken the lips if you choose. And if your model's been enjoying a little too much coffee or red wine, you can even whiten their teeth. In this instance, I think our model's just fine the way she is. Let's look at our before and after. Before and after. Now you know what these sliders do, let's take a look at another example and see how quickly we can improve this portrait. In this shot here, we've got a business portrait. Let's increase the size to 50%. Now we can see our model's face here. Let's see what the AI Skin Enhancer can do for our model. First of all, I wanna check the box AI Skin Defects Removal. If we toggle that off and on, you can see just to the left of her mouth that it's actually cleaning up what it considers to be a couple of skin defects. It's also doing one just above the left eye. We can now increase the amount slider and that's just gonna soften the skin up while still leaving the pores intact. Let's jump into the portrait enhancer. I don't feel like we need to brighten the face in this one or remove red eye. We could brighten the eyes slightly and we could enhance the eyes too. Let's see what effect that's having. Those eyes are really popping at 100%, so let's bring that way back down. Maybe around 30 would be nice. Let's see if we can just touch up under her eyes slightly with the dark circles removal. If we push that all the way to the top and bring it down, it's certainly just helping out with those slight lines under the eyes. 
Now, if we want to, we can slim the face. And as I sort of suggested last time, if you are doing this, you don't want to be doing it too much. Now let's move down to the lip section. If we want to darken that lipstick, let's increase that slider there. And if we did want to saturate that lipstick, we could and bring in a little more redness. And let's check our before and after. Before and after. If you feel like you've gone slightly too far with some things, like I do here with the eye whitening, just bring that right back down to somewhere where you feel more comfortable. Before and after, and now I'm happy. Before, after. It's subtle, but it's certainly an improvement. Let's look at one more example. We've seen what the skin enhancer and the portrait enhancer can do, but let's see if we can use them in conjunction with some of Luminar's other tools. Let's soften the model's skin, and if we zoom in, we'll be able to just validate that that's working nicely for us. Before, after. Yeah, that's doing a great job. Let's see what else we can do here. Now let's take a look at the AI accent filter. As we bring that up, we can see that that's improving the foliage around our model. If we want to, we can even increase the structure. If you're happy with what you've done with your portrait, you can just give it a finishing look. If you come up to Luminar's Looks palette here, select Portrait, and you've got a whole host of really great options. For instance, we could try Dreamy Portrait, and that just gives it a really lovely soft glow. What about Film? It's an interesting look, but let's try something else. What about Street Mat? Yeah, I really love that. So as you can see, that's a really quick way to give your images a distinctive look. As you can see, creating beautiful portraits faster than ever is easy in Luminar 4. You've got some really powerful sliders, really powerful tools at your disposal. Please be aware that these tools are intended to enhance your portraits. So use them with care, use them with consideration, but go out there and create some stunning portraits for your friends, family and your clients. I wish you all the best and happy creating.